Hi. I have got this from a friend of mine. This is a Xiaomi uh, Coquinet uh, scooter, I mean. And uh, this scooter was uh, brought to me from uh, someone who had it and uh, disassembled everything and uh, just gave me the chases. Now I am connecting to this one this motor controller. This is the WS55220. This is 20 volt to 50 volt brushless motor driver. Now the thing that I want to test is if I can use it to some way of carting. I suspect that uh, the power is not enough when you are going from stand which means in cutting you have to have a good uh, uh, let's say high power moment at the start when the speed is zero the problem with these motors is that you have to apply a speed in order to get it to work with power and it doesn't really start from zero with the high power. This is the problem of most of uh, these motors. And of course, if you are on karting, you have to have the first moment, the power moment, in order to make it work. Another thing that I'm not sure, this control. So the second thing that I'm not sure is that this controller is uh, can work in a non hole effect mode meaning you don't have to connect this holes sensor meaning it can determine the current status of the coils in order to apply the best moment and this is what I want to test usually if you are working with high power motors so there is not a real problem to get to the correct status of uh, the coils because if you are applying a lot of force so there is a let's say a high enough feedback to determine what is the coil status so this is what I want to test the power if I am uh, stalling it meaning catching the wheel with my hand I need to see that it is more powerful than my hand otherwise it will not work from a static mode when I'm standing uh, at the beginning if I will apply some speed it will work of course but I want it to be powerful at start so let's check it out so now let's check it out I will start first to check that my setup is okay and then we will go from this place so starting now so you can see that I can control the meter motor spinning also I have the direction so I will change now the direction oh this is nice because okay this is nice because it doesn't do it suddenly it first take the motor to a complete stop and then it apply the force okay now it is in a very low speed I the current by the way is less than a 100 milliamp the voltage is 30 volt now I want to stop it in my hand and see how much force it has so it stopped completely which is not a good thing I will apply higher speed and then stop try to stop it I 
I think it is powerful enough. I don't have to use the whole effect. I have to apply force. And don't forget that if you are on wheels, so you, you need the force but not that hard force again. Again, I feel the force of the motor. I feel it very good. And okay, so I think it will be good enough. Yes, if I will apply about this speed at the start, so it will be. Of course, the best thing is. Uh, try to do it when I'm standing on this scooter and see but I need to see how I can apply this setup with all the wires but it looks okay to me I will reduce the voltage to 20 volts is not enough fifteen volt also is not enough sixteen not enough seventeen not enough also eighteen volts Look like it is in a stall mode, not enough voltage. So 19 volts, 20 volts. Ha, like a magic. It was set to start on 20 volts. Okay, so now, why did this it stop? Okay, so my next test Next thing to check is if the whole effect improve everything if at all So let's do the setup now Okay, I've connected now the Hall Effect sensors and you will be able to see that the motor is much more powerful, meaning we need it. I show I'm trying to stop it and it's really hard to do it. And even if I do, it immediately get the moment back. Okay, so in this case, I have to connect also the whole effect 
sensors in order to use it as I want to use it much more powerful much more powerful than removing the cold effect you can see that the movement is very very smooth I will connect soon a scope to show how it looks uh, on the scope. 